Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. As always, it is Nick here, back to your daily crypto news and analysis. And today we are going to be talking about Zenfin Network, aka XDC. So with that being said, let's dive on in and let's talk about a few things. So, looks as though XDC is finally going to be getting listed on MEXC. It took long enough. I mean, this is absolutely insane that it's been taking this long. Uh, for it to get listed on a Mexi. But hey, better late than never. Uh, this is going to be listed today. I think that by now it actually should be listed, um, but I would have to go check. But nonetheless, this is great to see. Finally getting some more uh, focus on Mex or on uh, XDC with Mexi, of course, listing it. Mexi is a pretty large exchange. It's my go-to exchange. I don't keep any crypto on it. Again, never hold any of your crypto on exchanges, uh, but it has been my go-to. So. I love to see XDC being finally listed on Mexi. Great stuff. I mean, again, 1 million plus followers on Mexi. You guys already know that there's a ton of attention on them. Outside of this, we also seen Coin Mina, the simplest and safest way to purchase digital assets in the Mina region, add a XDC to its platform as well. Um, this is actually licensed by the central bank of Baran, which is pretty big. And as a crypto asset service provider, Category 3, and Vera, the ASP licensed broker-dealer services, XDC gets added to it. So, again, a lot more attention is being put on XDC, which you always love to see. Um, this entire space, though, outside of listings, outside of things like that, the utility gems are starting to wake up in a big way. And I do think that going into 2024, we are going to start to see a lot of these major players like XDC uh, really erupting, not only in value, but also in attention. I think that a lot of the news that we have seen this year is going to pay off because, listen, there's been so many moves made by not just the XDC team, but we're talking about the HBAR team, talking about XRP, talking about Casper, QNT, and so many other players. Guys, this market has been erupting with so much news, with so many moves being made by institutional players. I mean, it has been a very exciting year to say the least. But beyond this, talking about institutional players, the DTCC, we already reported on this back in October. The DTCC announced that they were actually acquiring security. Now, we've been talking about security for a while. And this was an original institutional grade digital asset infrastructure. We know their plans now. Today, or I should say on the 11th, today marks a significant milestone as we have successfully closed the transaction to acquire security now known as DTCC digital assets. Now, I don't know how the partners of this are going to play out, but I would assume that the partners are probably going to stay in place. But we do see here that we are excited to bring together our people, expertise, and respective technologies, create a powerful combination that will help the industry unlock the value of digital assets and drive market-wide transformation. Now, if we go over here to the actual article, we could read more about this. So they, they closed the acquisition, and we see that with this acquisition complete, DTCC retires the security brand and has renamed the business DTCC Digital Assets. It will operate as a business within the DTCC as well. We are excited to bring together our people. This is basically what they said. But down here, we get an additional quote. We look forward to providing global leadership to establish a robust digital infrastructure that protects the safety and soundness of financial markets and delivers on the enormous promise and potential of institutional DeFi in the coming years. That's a big statement from the DTCC. Institutional DeFi, that's becoming a thing now. But why is this so big coming from the DTCC? Well, look at the background. 50 years of experience, right? 20 locations around the world. Beyond that, in 2022, the DTCC processed securities transactions valued at $2.5 quadrillion. And its depository subsidiary provided custody and asset servicing for securities issued from over 150 countries and territories valued at 72 trillion. They also process more than 17 and a half billion messages annually. This is an absolute giant of a player in the institutional space. And if you guys did want to learn more about them and look into some of their partners, you guys are more than welcome to. Like I said, this is a big player. You need to pay attention to the DTCC. 
And on on the subject, what's interesting is is if we go back to the time where we did see the announcement between XDC and even Security, this was the announcement. XDC Network to integrate groundbreaking DeFi and compliance technology from Security. Security will deploy its proprietary digital asset composer on the XDC network with a focus on regulated securities and applications in global trade and finance. Mind you, the DTCC is one of the largest players in the security space. XDC, Zinfin, if you will, would be the perfect settlement player around these securities. The XDC network to integrate groundbreaking DeFi and compliance technology from security. Within this, they talked about DeFi protocols. They talked about real world assets, things like that. For example, it will allow the XDC network community to easily compose financial instruments and entire DeFi protocols, fractionalize real world assets and create highly customized uh, utility NFTs as well. And this is all regarding D DeFi tools, protocols, networks, things like that. I mean, this is something interesting because again, all of this, if it is still in place, means that XDC is positioned as a big player here with the DTCC. Now, outside of this, talking about the DTCC, going back to September of this year, a month before they even announced anything regarding security, we seen tokenization, the future of securities or just a digital dream. Over the last few years, tokenization has been a focus for many financial firms. Yet despite prominent platform launches, widespread or sorry, wide scale adoption has yet to be achieved. And again, this is from the managing director at the DTCC and they're actually facing some challenges regarding tokenization. But within this, they talked about regulatory disparity Regulations are being solved. We know this. Beyond this, they also talked about pillars to industry adoption. And this is where things get a little bit interesting. So again, when we look at this, regula regulations are the big obstacle. And I've talked about this. Once regulations are, are, are in place, that's the last major obstacle to mass adoption of this type of technology. The, the key thing here is to position yourself before regulations hit. Obviously, yes, make sure to take profits leading up to it, make sure that you are well positioned, but once regulations are in place, that's where we start to see major moves happening and institutions are already lining up now. Common taxonomy and also standardization. A lot of this is already in place. A lot of this is already you know, being prepared as well, but they are getting ready for tokenization as a whole. Like they want to start tokenizing heavily. Beyond this, we also see over here from XDC, th this was a big one. Uh, so they released a full milestone, the 2023 report. 2023, XDC Network's most transformational year yet. From global advancements in digitalization and real-world asset tokenization to an upsurge in development activity, the XDC network benefited from a fruitful 2023. This year, let me zoom in for you guys. This year saw influential global events that point to a promising future for blockchain adoption. Landmark legislation in the UK enabling electronic bills of lading set the stage for increased flows of global liquidity onto blockchain through adoption in strategic geo geographic locales and the launch of real world asset tokenization on chain along with integrations with leading providers in the trade finance industry. The XDC network is uniquely positioned to provide solutions for the trade finance gap. And here we have a few things. So tokenized U.S. Treasury bonds and private credit led real world assets in 2023 and have exceeded $1.3 in value thus far. Trade Tech's U.S. Treasury token, USTY, that launched via their Yield Tech subsidiary on the XTC network in August gives investors exposure to a multi-billion dollar highly liquid ETF that is indexed to short-term U.S. government bonds. Then also securitize. Now, this is where things get interesting because, again, two big players that we've been looking at over the last couple of years was Securency and Securitize. Securency just got bought up by, again, the DTCC, but Securitize is still around. 
Now, they integrate it, the XDC network as well. Why is this significant? Well, first and foremost, when you go over here to Securitize's website, we just see access the most exclusive asset class in the world, private markets. Now, I've been talking about these players for a very long time, like I've said. Um, and what makes Securitize very interesting is a lot of the connections back to some other big players. And what do I mean by that? Well, let's look into it. Unlocking broader access to alternative investments, and this is all regarding digitization, digital asset securities, things like that. This is their story. They outlined it fully. Again, if you guys do want to read all of this, you guys are more than welcome to. I'm not going to go in depth on this because there's not a lot of very interesting information here. Um, but I will say this, they have over 3,000 clients. Down here, we also see the locations. We also see the team. But down here, if we scroll down, is where things get, a, get very interesting. So look at some of the board of directors here. You can see them. Here's the advisory board. The US SEC, JP Morgan, Barclays, Google. I mean, guys, this list is very substantial. And then you have James Wallace, who this didn't get updated yet. This is from IBM, but he's actually a CBDC director at Ripple. BBVA, which also, by the way, just recently partnered with Medico, which is an acquired company by Ripple. There's a few other players as well. And then you can see all of the investors uh, within this. Ripple is one of those investors. SBI is also one of those investors. And there's some pretty large names on here as well. But like I said, Securitize has been a long-term big player to focus on. Now, if we go back here, we can actually see that this important milestone offers a further proof point in real-world asset showcasing the advantages of blockchain technology by leveraging the power of traditional investment classes. The integration also highlights the XDC network as one of a handful of blockchain networks to be able to support security tokens through the SEC compliant securitized platform for both primary and secondary issuance. Real world assets are playing an increasing role in traditional finances adoption of blockchain technology and XDC ecos e ecosystem players like Comptech Gold offer tokenized real world assets through their business models. And we even see here that they are an object lesson in the genius and power of the blockchain in crossing both legal and technological frontiers. They have the potential to invigorate traditional finance and provide highly attractive new investment opportunities. And this is from the Law Commission of England and Wales. Also, Trade Finance and XDC Network were big victors this year. Again, they do mention that UK Electronic Trade Documents Act that did go live in September and how 60% of the world's trading corridors utilizing British law were already adopting this, this significant milestone will enable much shorter trade times as well. And with its firm foundation in trade finance, few blockchain networks will be more positively impacted by this new law than the XDC network. And as legacy systems adjust to these new standards, blockchain technology stands ready as a promising solution. And even trade trust that does get mentioned as well. Um, XTC Network became one of the only three blockchains to fully integrate with trade trust this year, which is a major platform. Again, guys, the moves that XTC made this year are absolutely massive. This goes on to mention a few other things as well. Uh, they even do mention the ICC and how they recognize the XDC network. Also, they got mentioned um, by the World Bank as well. Uh, they even addressed Trade Phoenix and how they are helping to shrink the $3.5 trillion trade finance gap. And together with XDC Trade Network and several participants in the XDC ecosystem, the pilot program converted a paper bill of lading to an EBL following the new UK EBL law. This demonstration offers another proof point in how trade finance liquidity becomes available through token organizing a real world asset and regulatory strides as well were made with Mika and a few other things as well. Guys, everything is aligning perfectly here. And the list just goes on and on and on. They do mention the SBI VC partnership with XDC. I mean, guys, like I said, as we look at a few players in this space, you need to understand how many moves were made in just one single year with XDC. Because I keep saying that XTC is so damn overlooked, so damn undervalued, and I still believe that right now, not enough people are looking into XTC at such a crucial time. Guys, I cannot be more, I, I, I can't be more on it with you guys because I, I, I've been talking about it for probably well over two years now, talking about XTC, 
And even back in 2020 and 2021, I still think that XDC was kind of late to the party. I didn't, I, I, I don't think that a lot of people were looking at XDC during that time. It still made some very great moves. But I think that this next bull run here, as we start to see things really erupt, I think that XDC could be just as big, if not bigger, than a few of like the top 20 players. And that's saying, that, that's me being conservative because I've always said that XDC could pull a 2017-2018 type XRP run. So definitely pay attention to what XDC is doing. Pay attention to what the XDC team is doing as well. They've been doing some very great things this year. The noise that they have been making is very loud. I've been seeing it. I've been noticing it. Let me know if you guys have. But if you guys did enjoy the video, definitely leave a like, subscribe to notifications on if you guys have more free content. You guys are more than welcome to follow me on Twitter and join the free Discord in the description below. And with that being said, guys, it's been Nick. Peace out.